Let's have a look at how they line up. Second time they have met. 33-34, they're experienced men, but Woods with the height and reach advantage. Big at that. Back on the 12 stone, seven limit. Jason Delar, a pound inside. Looks in good shape, though. Vinton's story started 12 years ago. Delal newer to the scene. More experience, much more for Clinton Woods and the bigger puncher. He's a big favourite here, but I tell you what, it should be a good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials appointed for this contest uh, by the IBF in association with the British Boxing Ball of Control. The supervisor at ringside for the IBF, Mr. Lindsay Tucker of the United States of America. The timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Barry Pidner from Sheffield, and the British Boxing Ball of Steward, uh, the British Boxing Ball of Control steward in charge, Mr. Jeff Bolter. The judges appointed by the IBF at ringside scoring the contest on the 10 must system, Mr. Al Bennett of the United States of America, Mr. Howard Foster from England, and Mr. Charlie Lucas from Australia. And when the action begins, the referee in charge this evening, one of the world's leading referees, Mr. David Paris of London. Sponsored by Interpoker.com, uh, Dennis Hobson and Evans Waterman Promotions for Fight Academy proudly present tonight's main event, exclusively live on Sky Box Office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is World Championship Boxing uh, and a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the world between and introducing the boxers and firstly fighting out of the red corner wearing the green trunks trimmed with gold he comes from australia weighed in at the official weigh-in of 12 stone six pounds he holds a 24 fight professional record 18 wins nine wins by way of knockout with four losses and two draws he comes to the ring here in sheffield as the challenger for the title tonight please welcome from australia jason the And across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks trim with the red and the white. He weighed in at 12 stone, seven pounds, and comes to the ring tonight with a 42 five professional record, 38 wins, 24 wins by way of knockout, with three losses and one draw. He's a former undefeated British Commonwealth and European light heavyweight champion, and tonight, He's defending his IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World for the second uh, defence. Ladies and gentlemen, Yorkshire's favourite son, Sheffield's Clinton Woods! <laughs> Referee Mr. Dave Parrish will now give his final instructions to both boxers. I suppose you both in the dressing room, boys. You know what to expect of you. Straight games. Straight games, boys. Good luck to you both. 12 three minute rounds. Second for the defense. IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of, of the one. IBF 12 stone seven crown that Clinton Woods took in uh, nearby Rotherham last year. And it's a rematch of a tough encounter from October 2004 with hardened Australian Jason Delisle. Woods was on the floor in the first round. He came through to triumph in 12. And Glenn, what happens when the real prize is at stake? Well, you know, Delisle is gonna try so much harder. He's got nothing to lose here, everything to gain. So he's really gonna commit himself. But Clinton Woods will be expecting that. He's a good professional, will have trained very, very hard. Delisle has had weeks of notice this time around. He's drilled himself into shape in the Boxhead Gym in Sydney. But has he got the class, the talent, the know-how to deal with Clinton Woods? 
who's uh, in his 43rd fight and he's really seen it all before well, in recent fights he's looked like he's improving all the time Woods just becoming more polished more knowing very very experienced 42 fights under his belt trying to get the jab established early gave him uh, much success when he defended in style against Julio Gonzalez back in September and looking for the uppercut with a raw style Delisle just comes in in a crouch and um, it's difficult for Woods to get that the jab on accurately Mentally, Delia will have some self-belief. He'll remember the right hand he threw in this session. Well, he certainly didn't do bad in their last meeting, and that's why you know, he's been given the chance again. But the right hand so far are from the fists of Clinton Woods. And again, he tries the uppercut. The applause from Richard Boxer, his trainer in the corner. Beautiful shot, third time, and that landed very well on the chin of Delisle. Good, slick, polished start from Clinton Woods, not doing anything wrong. Woods was saying in the build-up, they've worked very hard on defence. Doesn't want to get hit like he used to. Just fought at a much, much higher level than Jason Delisle. And he looks the boss already. Yes, he's got the center of the ring. He's leading off first. Good opening round for Clinton Woods. Here's the second round, voluntary defense of the IBF title by uh, Sheffield's Clinton Woods in uh, his red, white, red and blue, and the green of uh, Australian Jason Delisle, looking for his 19th and most meaningful win in uh, 24 fights. Can he get to Woods? Can he hurt him again, like he did last time, or is he out of his depth? Woods looking to put a little more into his punches in this round. He set himself. So he's got to be careful he doesn't get caught with a wild one. Body shots from Delisle. He has bags of heart. He said he will give absolutely everything he knows how to to win this title and take it back to Australia. Hold him on, hold him on. Right. Delisle looking for the clubbing shot, but it's Woods who's getting through with the, the cleaner ones. Again, sweet shot from Clinton Woods. Timing looks good tonight. Worries that maybe he'd be looking past Jason Delisle to a, a big meeting. Again with Glenn Johnson, his old rival. But he has started on fire. Accuracy, superb. It's really, really sharp with a nice rhythm. These punches are coming very, very easy to Clinton Woods. Trying the savage raw style Delisle, but he's being picked off already. It's all Clinton Woods here in the second round. The crowd are on their feet around us. Good barrage of punches from Woods, and then again an excellently timed uppercut. Doing nothing wrong at all. This is very, very precise. This time it brings blood to the nose. 
of Jason Delisle, who's being dwarfed by Clinton Woods in there. Looks so much bigger, stronger, and more clinical. What a start from Woods. Well, this is really, really good, Woods. Best I've seen him, I think. Certainly the shop, as he just keeps improving. Huge round for Clinton Woods. Easy, easy. The crowd shouts around us. Listen, Clinton Woods has never had it easy. He's not going to take his foot off the gas here, is he? No, he's not. And I think he's enjoying himself in there because everything he's worked on is just coming coming off so naturally and you can tell you know he's not even thinking about it he's just letting the shots go and they're so precise and accurate and it's very very good work from him Delisle in trouble there with his back against the ropes trying to cover up but not a great deal of response and this is all coming at 34 Third round, Vincent Woods with a pretty much dream start here in this defence against Jason Delisle. Delisle coming off a points defeat to Julio Gonzalez, who Woods outschooled, so Delisle up against it. Still attempting to dig in. But Woods on this sort of form, He's a match for pretty much anyone, isn't he? He really is. And, you know, he just needs to keep the concentration the way it is now. And he will get through with the shots of matter. The Lyle needs to do something very different. He needs to take the fight to Woods, rough him up a little bit, knock him out of this excellent style and rhythm he's got. He will try and throw. Big shots. Delisle landed with a decent body shot. Just passed by the right elbow of Woods. Only three men have managed to defeat Clinton Woods over the years. David Starry, the uh, excellent Roy Jones Jr. and Glenn Johnson. Solid jab, doubling it up, and uh, already some damage under the right eye to Delisle to add to the troubles. Well, so far, he's using the, the correct punches for this marauding style. He's just keeping him at bay and keeping him on the end of that jab. All the while, he's looking for the hooks and especially the uppercut. That's looked so good. Strengthening, outclassing Delisle. Boxing lesson at the moment from Woods. But Delisle proved in their last fight he was fairly tough and rugged. And you know he'll want to take this into the, the late round, so maybe Woods might tire. It could become a very different fight. Yeah, Clinton Woods did floor him in the seventh of their first encounter and uh, stopped him at the very last stages of the 12th round. Another good round for Clinton Woods. And, uh, He'd be ever so proud if he could see the pictures of his charge. Well, he certainly will. He's um, <laughs> doing everything right, but he needs to, to keep this up. Best buddies, Clinton and Dennis, went to the gym together in the early days. That started Woods off 
on this really incredible run. He's uh, not fashionable, not many people know him outside of Yorkshire, but he just gets on with the job in a determined way, and for that, so much credit. Bilal just started to block a few more in close. He's keeping his hands close to his chin as Woods tries to get those hooks on. Bobbing and weaving. Jason Delisle trying to stay out of the way of that long jab of Woods. He's been attempting to attack the Woods body. Roy Jones stopped Woods with body shots. And that's a good right hand from Delisle. Well, he's had his most success in this round, Delisle. He's just getting a bit closer to Woods and starting to get through with some of these shots, just starting to find his rhythm a little bit. Just backing up into Woods as well. And the uh, bumping left hook into the rib cage as well from Jason Delisle. Testing the stamina maybe early on of Woods. And maybe he'll just warm into this a lot more, Delisle. He said he's trained very, very hard. And obviously there's so much to go for here. He didn't turn professional till 28, Jason Delisle. A bit of kickboxing, but very little amateur experience. And it's testimony to him that he's got himself even into this position to challenge for a world crown. Well, he's doing well with the, the body punching. That's just making Woods do less. And Delisle also getting his hands up and just catching the punches on the gloves much better. So, slight change in the plot. Yep, three excellent rounds from Woods. Back comes Jason Delisle. He told us he'd give absolutely everything in there. Doesn't want to let himself down, and the big chance comes. Got that round. Here's the uh, fifth round. IBF 12 stone 7 belt on the line. Remember the second defense of the title that Clinton Woods won in this very session against Rico Hoy, unbeaten fighter from Detroit. That was his uh, defining night in March of last year. Dave Paris, just uh, looking at the tape on the glove of Jason Delisle. He just came back into it in that fourth. Yes, he did. Um, he must just seemed to just take a bit of a breather. Maybe lost the concentration. I think he felt the body shot, to be honest. Glove up there, Woods, trying the uh, roundhouse right. What we're noticing, Adam, is that Delisle's getting closer. The jab's not as snappy from Woods. You know, he needs to bring that uppercut into play again. And now the uppercut from Delisle on the inside. And he is inching forwards. Trying to make it uncomfortable, difficult for Woods. That's what he's got to do, isn't it? Yes, he has. Exactly what he's doing now. You're keeping Woods on the ropes. You're blocking the shots of Woods and then getting his own strong ones on. Yeah, those uppercuts of Clinton Woods work so well in the first couple of rounds. There's another. Hasn't forgotten about them. Body shot from Delisle, he's giving it a go, a real battle here, isn't he? Well, he said he would, and as he should, got everything to fight for, the a world title at stake, it'll change his life. So, you can expect a lot from this man. He has lost four times, 
Jason Delisle, but he's always given value for money. And this is no exception, but a lovely right hand from Woods. He just finds a punch when he needs to. That's experience. Yes, he gets the more eye-catching punches through. He's the more technical of the two. And I'm just starting to pick it up towards the end of the round with some good little right hands. And look at Delisle coming back. Yeah, it's good, this. Crude pressure from Jason Delisle. Just uh, closing the gap. Reminding Clinton Woods he has a fight on his hands. Let's get straight over to uh, Ed Robinson, who's with Spencer Oliver. Well, Spencer, great start for Clinton, but is Delisle coming back into it? Yeah, he definitely is. He's come back into it in the last couple of rounds and even stole the last couple of rounds on my card. Clinton started so well, looked so sharp and was working so well with the uppercut. Right, right through the middle of Delisle. Delisle was coming in very square on. But Delisle's made a few adjustments, keeping his hands up nice and tight, and, he, and he's blocking the shots of Clinton. I think he's starting to get to Clinton with the body shots as well. So he's evened it up a little bit, Delisle, and Clinton needs to get back behind the jab and needs to start working with those uppercuts again. Do you think Clinton should continue to box, or do you think he should maybe hurt Delisle, try and hurt Delisle? No, I think he's better at long range, and I think he, when he's whipping in the shots, leading off with that uppercut and then whipping in those hooks, he's much better. He, Delisle's getting in close and working well with the body shots. Clinton's much better at long range, working behind that jab and driving in those right uppercuts like it was in the first couple of rounds. Thank you, Spencer. Glenn, what Spencer was saying there was really what Clinton Woods did against Julio Gonzalez last time. That's exactly right, but um, Clinton's still getting some eye-catching shots on, but not as many, and Delisle just getting some momentum and some rhythm, and you know, he'll be growing in strength Absolutely no pressure on Jason Delisle at all. He's just grateful for the opportunity. And that's when opponents can be dangerous. Crowd starting to get touch edgy, trying to spur Clinton Woods on. Well, he was making it look so easy in the first three rounds. Now job's a touch harder. Maybe he felt he could uh, get rid of Delisle early, and now he's going to have to go over old ground. That can be uh, psychologically quite difficult. Well, I think there was uh, a little loss of concentration. It was going very well for him. Tried to up the tempo, but um, that'll do. Then, he produces a right uppercut that sends Delisle into trouble. Big moments here for Clinton Woods. Trapped on the ropes here, Jason Delisle in the sixth round. Had to throw something back and did. A couple of good ones. Oh, he's a warrior. A real tough nut, but he's cut as well, Delisle. Well, Spits out defiance, Delisle, doesn't he? As Woods really piles on the pressure. Oh, that uppercut might finish it. It does. Dave Paris waves it over, and Clinton Woods retains his treasured IBF light heavyweight crown. And the brave efforts of Jason Delisle were undone by uppercuts. I don't think we've seen from Woods before. There's Father Keith and his wife, Natalia. They've got a baby at home, Jude. Clinton Woods has been busy changing nappies. Tonight, he's back in the ring doing what he does best. Well, his hometown fans are celebrating as they should because it was starting just to turn a little bit. And then he pulls out the, the class with a, an excellent uppercut. And the champion that he has turned on the, the style and turned up the heat to get a very good win. Never in a dull fight, Clinton Woods. You've got to love him, really. He's on the phone. I wonder if that's Dennis Hobson. <laughs> yes, it is. Dennis Hobson in Boston getting the news straight away. Well, 
It was, was the punch of the night. It was a great start and even better finish for Clinton Woods. A terrific right uppercut, right through the guard and timed to perfection. He's obviously used that punch time and time again in training. That was practiced to perfection and it came off a treat. He's added different things to his armory at this stage in his career. It's extraordinary. It really is. It was a great start of the fight, but look at that. What a finish. Excellent punch. He was game, Delisle. He really gave up a good chance. He tried hard. He was strong. But what are you going to do against that? Any of the fighters out there with the other world belts at the top of this division, you know, <laughs> they're going to struggle to take a punch like that. Wonder if he uh, will get his dream fight against Glenn Johnson, who is yet to win an Antonio Tarver. Terrific punch right through the middle. Worked so well. 25th knockout. One of the best in Clinton Woods' his career and a successful defence. Well done to him. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 55 seconds of round six, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner and still IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Clinton Woods.